We're off to do another on-site job today. This job will be putting up two access points, a network rack, terminating a bunch of cables, and then putting in some door access. But first, let's say bye to the girls. First, we installed the G5 bullet cameras on the outside of the building. There were three in total, and then inside we were using AI 360s. Next we install the U6 Pros. We only have two in this facility as it's not too large. We make sure that the bracket is centered and then we put the access point up. For two of the access readers we needed to use a back box as we couldn't drill into the brick. We put the box on and then we attached the readers. For the front door reader we used a Dremel to cut a hole in the metal. Once we did that, we put the bracket on and then we put the Axis Reader G2 Pro on. For the Unify Access Hub, I used three different security boxes. We ended up having to move the Access Hubs down a little bit as these boxes aren't huge and we didn't want the bend radius of our cables to be too tight. This was a good solution, but I think next time I would use bigger boxes. For dressing in the Cat6 cable, I was using the Panduit cable organizer and I will put affiliate links to most of my tools down in the description below, but this just makes the bundling of the cables easier. We did two different bundles of about 24 drops. Now for terminating the network cables, I used the vertical cable one punch tool with their VMAX CAT6 jacks. You need to use their keystones with the tool, it will not work with anything else, but it saves a lot of time over the 110 old style punch down tools.
Now this is one of my favorite parts of any install and that's patching in the patch cables. So I use six inch slim cables and it makes it look really nice. And that's going to be it for this on-site job and I really do like showing these type of videos. If you want to see more of these videos and you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that button as we're going to be having more coming out later this year. Even though this was a small job, it had quite a few challenges and if you're a part of my Discord community, you would have heard about those, but I'll explain a little bit of what happened. So first and foremost, the owners who we did the job for were great, awesome to work with and I really enjoyed it. So if you're watching this video, thank you for allowing us to do the work for you. Now as for the general contractors this was their first time doing commercial buildings they usually do residential buildings and commercial is a lot different than that so for about 75 percent of the project we had no lighting so we were doing all of our work in the dark or with whatever light was coming through the windows so with that they didn't have a restroom on site which you legally need to have a restroom there so once the furniture people came in they were making up a big stink about it and then the contractors brought in a porta potty now speaking about furniture, the GCs got the furniture in about 50% through the job. The floors weren't even finished, the painting wasn't done, so it's completely covered in dust. It made it extremely hard to work with when we were doing our faceplates. We had to move out furniture when we really shouldn't have. You may have noticed in our network rack we didn't have a firewall. At the beginning of the project, we spec'd out the UDMSE for this job and we did purchase this. There is an MSP that's going to be taking over this site when it's completely finished and they didn't want on a firewall as everything is going to be cloud-based. I, I tried to say that we should still have network security even though every application they use is cloud-based and there's no server on site but we didn't win that war. So what we have there is just a cloud key and that's running Unify Network and Unify Access. We also have a UMVR that is doing our Unify Protect. All in all, this project was really fun to do. I love doing the Unify Access, and we will be coming out with more videos about Unify Access, including the new Unify Access intercom system, which will be really fun to do. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.